God damn it. Not again. Yeah, that's on you, dude. I told you to close your eyes. Wow. Is this where you live, Jirachi? Yep. This is where I come when I'm not sleeping for 1,000 years. 1,000 years? I'll explain everything inside. Anyways, you guys hungry? Hmm. Claire wasn't exaggerating with the pie. This is delicious. Uh-huh. Thanks, guys. So, Drachi, what was that thing about you sleeping for a thousand years? Well, I spent most of my life on top of Wish Mountain. Is that the cave we woke up on? Yep, on top of a 60-floor dungeon. Anyway, I sleep there for 1,000 years, waiting for anyone who wants to make one of their wishes come true. After those 1,000 years are over, I'm awake for 10 years and can do whatever I want. Man, you must be pretty old. I'm 558 million years old. Maybe more. Damn. When did you wake up? About three days ago. Wait, you're telling me this tree has been here that long? It hasn't been destroyed? Or burned? Nope. I found this tree when I was 2010 years old. I knew it wasn't going to be here forever, so I used some wishes to make it indestructible and fireproof, and impossible to get in while I'm sleeping. What do you do in those 10 years you're awake? Well, I do a lot of stuff. I've explored pretty much everywhere, made maps as well, studied astronomy, taken cooking classes, music as well, knitted, dance lessons, and read countless books. I've written countless books too, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, I'm currently writing one on humans. Yeah, we noticed that. How do you know about the existence of humans? Were there humans here before? Are there any besides us? Not really. 1,000 years ago when I was exploring, I found an abandoned village. Judging from the damage to the houses, wild Pokemon had attacked and burned it. One of the buildings was a library. I went in there to see if there were any remaining books that I hadn't read before. But most of them were either ashes, books I already read, or copies of my own books. I noticed one little journal that was mostly destroyed, but still had five recognizable words. Human, great power, end, and world. The word human caught my curiosity. So from there I went from town to town, asking if anyone knew what humans were. But nobody seemed to know, even until today. I still don't get the whole wild Pokemon thing. I thought all Pokemon in this world were sentient. Well, yes and no. There are Pokemon like you and I, and then there are wild Pokemon. There are Pokemon with some sort of virus or sickness. They're really dangerous because they're three times more powerful than a normal Pokemon. They live in mystery dungeons and only come out to hunt for food. Wow. Damn. Jirachi, have you written a book about controlling ribbons? Because I could really use one. No, but I have one. I didn't write it. It was written by a Sylveon named Willy. It's about how to be a Sylveon. I'm sure there's sections on using the ribbons. <sighs> Anyways, I noticed that you have a fridge, a stove, and some light bulbs. Does your house have working electricity? Yep. Wait, humans have this kind of stuff as well? Yeah, what about plumbing? We have that too. Okay, what about a TV or a radio? Or the internet? What's that? Great. You have everything but the important stuff. What's all of that, and why is it so important? Well... <sighs> sorry. That pie got me really tired. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice how late it was. I'll show you to your rooms. There are four bedrooms in this house, two on this floor, and another two upstairs. We'll take these two. Oh, okay. My room is upstairs, so let me know if you guys need anything. And, um... Did they both just go into the same room? It's a couple's thing. So, what's up? This guy... Ha, <laughs> I always fall for that one. Seriously though, what do you think of all of this? Well, it's not so bad. I could get used to this. Yeah, me too. I still want to go back. Same. I haven't become a doctor like I said I would. And I still haven't gotten past the fourth season of The Walking Dead. Really? Hey, I just haven't got the time. Lulu, you've borrowed Alejandro's DVDs for like two months already. I know, and I still need to give them back, plus I just don't find them very interesting. Well, it's because you're only on the fourth season. It gets more interesting after that. Ugh. Hey, 
Have I ever been wrong before? Um... Don't answer that. <laughs> Alright. What's the name of the Pokemon that I am again? Glaceon. An ice type. It suits you pretty well. How come? Because of your cool personality. <laughs> I may be the ice one, but you definitely got the cooler one. Plus, it also suits you really well. Why? Because I was black in our world and I'm black here too? No, because most of your clothes were either black or blue. Mm, yeah, good point. Are you cold? No, are you? Yeah, really cold. Oh, sorry, it's probably because of me. No, 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 it's alright, I can take it. Yeah, but I don't want to risk giving you a cold. Plus, it's kind of late already. We should get some sleep. Fine. You can have this room, and I'll take the other one. Alright, good night. Night. Here is your room. My room is right across from yours. Tell me if you need anything, okay? Mm hmm. Okay, see you tomorrow then. They have fully functional bathrooms, working electricity, but they still don't have actual beds. <sighs> nope. 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 Nuh uh. Maybe. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Fine. I'll take a look. Human. It's funny now that I think about it. I wonder what humans actually look like. Morning. Where is Alejandro? He's probably still sleeping. I don't think that's a good idea, Jirachi. Why? Alejandro doesn't like being woken up. Well, we don't want to be late meeting up with Barbara and Diego. It's open. Help you. How did that happen? I read the book that Jirachi gave me. So, what did you learn? I learned to control my ribbons well enough that I don't trip over them anymore. Then what's all this then? This is how I woke up. Dude, I learned I can glow in the dark. I learned that we have extremely big eyes and really tiny noses. I learned that we don't have toothbrushes, so let's remember that. What are toothbrushes? Great. Just kidding. Where is Star Town anyway? It's not too far, just a 10 minute walk to the north. Or would you guys like me to teleport us there? No, no teleporting. <laughs> fine. And that's what humans look like. Wow. Man, I was way off. Why is it called Star Town? Did you have something to do with it? I guess you could say I'm like the co-founder of the town. Co-founder? Yep. 6,000 years ago, there was a Pichu who, despite her appearance, was extremely powerful. She surpassed my dungeon and urged herself a wish, which she used to create an area that no wild Pokemon could enter, then asked me to help her create a town. So it's technically your town. Well, yes. Hey, look, we're here. This place is nice. Yeah, reminds me of an old Pueblo I used to live in. What's a Pueblo? It's town, in Spanish. What's Spanish? Uh. Excuse me. Hmm? I can help but notice a little cute little thing such as you walking around without company. Um, we're also here. Oh, are they your siblings or something? No, he's just our friend. Does that mean you are available? Wait, he? Yep. Please excuse our level 98 friend, he uses that death stare when he hasn't had the chance to kill anyone in the last 24 hours. I... uh... sorry. Thanks for that. Anything for a cute little thing such as you. I actually hate you. I was afraid you were gonna kill him. I was going to kill him. Here it is. Kelly's. Looks nice. Why are they all looking at us? Maybe because we're three shinies walking with a mythical Pokemon. Hmm, no, that's not it. Hey, you're looking for Barbara, right? Yeah, how did you know? 
She told me to tell you that she'll be waiting in that table over there. Hi. Hey. I thought she was messing with me when she said that a Jirachi with three shiny evolutions would be walking in here. I know it sounds odd, but it's true. Can I ask you something? Sure. Did you ever get to find out what humans are? You know about humans? Everyone knows. There have been all sorts of rumors saying that you found a human, got into a fight with one, or even fell in love with one. None of that is true, but I actually did get to talk with three humans. Really? Where are they? They are right here. Humans are evolutions? No, they got turned into Pokemon when they entered our world. I'm still asking them more questions for my book. Oh, can I get a copy of that book? Sure. So, would you guys like anything? It's on me. No thanks. Maybe later. Oh, please tell me you guys have chamomile tea in this world. Don't worry, we've got some. Would you like it hot or cold? Hot, please. Hey. Nice to see you again. Hi. Hey. Hello. Nice to see you too. So far, how do you guys like our world? Yeah, and what do you think of the town? It's a little weird compared to what we have in our world, but it's still pretty nice. I think it's beautiful. I don't know. Some Jolteon tried to flirt with me earlier. Really? Did you hurt him? Almost did, but he realized I was a guy and apologized, then ran away. It was probably because of your ability. Yeah, Cute Charm can make others fall in love with you. Doesn't that only work with the opposite gender? Or maybe they think you are a really cute girl. Jirachi has a point. You do look like a girl, Alejandro. I thought the color blue would make it obvious that I'm not a girl. Well, apparently it's not obvious enough. Plus, there aren't that many male Sylveon around. If you don't like it, why did you choose to become a Sylveon? I wasn't given a choice. You fell in love, didn't you? You're getting off topic. Here's your tea. Thanks. Ah! I'm so sorry, it's just... Don't worry. It happens all the time. Uh, excuse me. I didn't order this. Hey, that's a tomato berry curry with rice. And it's shaped like a heart. Why would you order this? I just said I didn't. Those guys over there ordered it for you. They're also asking for your name. I'm gonna kill them. Just give them back the food. No, I have a better idea. Did they already pay for this? Yeah. Then I'm keeping it. And please tell them my name is... Thanks for the meal. Also, I'm a guy. Alright. Well, that was kind of mean. They should have thought twice before flirting with me. Do you guys want any? Yes. Sure. Yeah, sure. Nah. No thanks. So, what are we doing today? We go to Wish Mountain, go through the 60th floor dungeon, earn a wish, give it back to me, and I tell you where Arceus is. Sounds easy enough. I'm not allowed to help anyone through my dungeon. And I don't think me and Lulu would be much help because of our current levels. And that just leaves you, Barbara, and Diego. It'll be much easier with level 98 helping us out. I don't think I can do much. But aren't you good at navigating through dungeons as well? Yeah, but all of my experience is from a game. Plus, I only know Moonblast, and I don't even know how to aim it. What about when you got that Solomon's last night? That was a total accident. I could have hit you for all I know. Hey, I could train you if you want. Train me? Yeah, if you want, I could teach you how to use your moves. Try, my mom's an excellent teacher. How would that even work? Most moves are similar in use, so I can use experience. Plus, I have a copy of one of Jirachi's books titled, Moves and How to Use. Hey, I forgot I wrote that book. If it's necessary for us to get out of here, it's fine by me. So, you guys ready to go? Yep. Yeah, let's get out of here before someone starts flirting with me again. Bye, aunties. Later, Diego. Bye, Diego. Wait, did that Jirachi even pay for the tea? Yep. Um, excuse me, Miss Sylveon? 
I just saw you leaving and um, I thought you were really pretty and um, I um, I wanted to give you this flower but because you are so beautiful. <laughs> Aww, you are so cute and brave. Thank you so much. What's your name, little guy? Chris. Well, Chris, I think you should hold on to that flower. Why? Don't you like it? Oh, no, no, no. I just have allergies and stuff. You understand, right? Oh, sorry. No, it's alright, don't worry. Now I want you to hold on to that flower and save it for someone you really care about. Like my mommy? Yeah, save the flower for her. Okay, I'm going to my mommy now. Bye, Miss Sylveon. Bye, Chris. I don't want to hear a word about it. That was really sweet from Alejandro. My heart isn't entirely made of stone, you know. Can I at least ask how that kid was any different from the other? I wasn't going to humiliate him like the others. Plus, he said I was pretty. What was that last part? Nothing. So, Barbara, how do you fly? Because my ability is levitate? I thought Gengar didn't have levitate anymore. Well, nowadays, most Gengar don't have it, but rarely one does. I'm one of them. Mr. Alejandro, are there any Pokemon in your world? You know a lot about them. No, I'm just a fan of the games and the anime. Of what? This might take a while to explain. One hour later. And that's pretty much it. Man, sounds like humans are really weak. Yep. So they spend all their time looking at their TVs, phones, and AirPods? It's not how AirPods are used, but yeah, pretty much. If humans are so weak, how are you so strong? I don't know. What? What do you mean you don't know? What? Didn't you say, yeah, that makes sense, when Clara told us that you were level 98? Yeah. Then why did you say that you didn't know? Because I lied. I'm a liar. It's what I do. <sighs> Here we go again. You promised you wouldn't do that again. Yeah, I know. Then what happened? I lied. You know I hate when you do that. <laughs> I know. Then why do you do it? Because it's funny. No, it's not. Um, you are what funny. are they doing what? exactly? It's almost like Never I can't trust anything you say. Reveal something, he messes with John by talking like this. that. Do you know why you are level 98? Yes. What is it then? At age 6, I was born without a face. What? I get the reference. Hey, we're here. Right, Jirachi? Yep. <sighs> I'll figure it out one day. Alright, Alejandro, before we start, tell me what you know. Well, I know that I'm level 98, and my moves are Moonblast, Light Screen, Draining Kiss, and Last Resort. Okay, what else? And from what I read in the book Jirachi gave me, I know how to control my ribbons, and they'll occasionally protect me from attacks or do their own thing. Like what? Well, that one is picking up flowers with Jirachi. Fun fact! If you touch anyone with your ribbons, you can tell what they're feeling. Ribbons, feelings... Sounds like Alejandro is getting more and more girly the longer we stay here. Hey! I can tell you feel pain. Alright, I think I heard enough. Okay, let's begin. Is that a tiny shadow ball? Ah! What was that for? Remember that? Now, I want you to close your eyes and imagine a rectangular shaped wall in front of you. Alright, but do I have to close my eyes every time I make a move? No, but it just makes it easier. I heard a noise, did it work? Congratulations, you just used light screen. Okay, now what? This. Ah! Stop with the tiny shadow balls! Now, did that one hurt more or less than the first shadow ball? Uh, yeah, I think. Why? Then it works, because you see, light screen reduces damage from special attacks. Ooh. Okay, now what? Now, kiss me! What?! Alright, don't get too excited, buddy. It's so you can use Draining Kiss, of course. Can't we just skip that one? Well, you have to use all your moves, at least once, before you can use Last Resort. But aren't you a poison type? Won't that hurt me? Don't worry, it won't work like that. It won't affect you, and it won't hurt me as much because of our type effectiveness. Yeah, but- Oh, man up and just kiss me already. 
It was super humiliating. Critical hit! See? That wasn't so bad. How do you feel? I feel full of energy and regret. Since you already know Moonblast, I'm going to teach you something else you can do with it. Like what? Jirachi told you to inhale and let it out like this, right? Yeah? Take this Shadow Ball for example. When you did that, you focused your energy in front of you by using Moonblast. The more you focus, the bigger it gets, and the bigger it gets, the more powerful it is. However, it also becomes more difficult to control. But if you keep your cool and stay concentrated, you can make it do whatever you want. Change sides or send it anywhere. And it doesn't have to be in front of you. You can also focus your energy from pretty much anywhere in your body. And now I want you to create a moon blast from one of your ribbons. Okay, I'll try. It's not working. Um, dude? I think you're using the wrong ribbon. What? Wow! Diego! On it! Stay close! Okay. Alright Alejandro, I need you to take a deep breath and relax. Alright. Okay, now imagine a black dot. A what? Just trust me. Um, Alejandro, did you by any chance imagine that black dot really close to your face? Yeah? Okay, now imagine that black dot slowly moving away from you. Let me guess, imagining a black dot is how I control this thing, right? Yeah, and now that you know that, you might want to move that thing up. Am I moving this up because it's going to explode? More than likely. Something that big can't be stable for that low- <laughs> Be careful. I sleep in this mountain, remember? That was close. Ouch! Sorry, I missed one. Let's try that again. Put your ribbons up in front of you like this. Okay? Good. Now, try and focus again, but stop when I tell you to. Okay. Stop! Wow. See? There you go. Since you know how to control these, now let's practice targeting. Now, I want you to hit that mark I made on the wall without hitting the shadow balls. Well, I was expecting you to dodge them by going in between them, but that's cool too. Well, that should be enough. I think you know enough to get us through the mountain. Wait, what about last resort? Last resort is a powerful move. And from what I could see, so are you. Just that tiny moon blast you made was enough to make a hole through that solid rock. And with something even more destructive, you might use it in close spaces with my son and me. And that would probably not be a good idea. Good point. Here. Uh, thanks. While they're in the dungeon, do you guys want to help me with something? I kind of forgot to buy some stuff back in town. Sure. Later, dude. We're going with Jirachi. Alright. See you back at the house. Good. I haven't bought groceries in, like, a thousand years. What? But you had a pie ready yesterday. I always have a pie ready. You're late. Of course I'm late. It's hard to find these. I went to seven different towns to get them. Still, you could have been faster. Now, can you come with me? Sure. Sup, Arceus? I assume you know why you are here. Yeah, but I don't see the point. Because you can see the future like me, but you can see more than I, I wanted to ask you if you want to be part of my plan. It doesn't matter what I say. You're gonna make me part of your plan anyways. So you don't agree, even though it is the best solution for the world. I know it's the only way, but I still don't like it. Do you see any other? Sadly, no. This is truly the only way to stop him. I know. So which do you think we should use? Choose whoever you want. 
any of them should work. Wait, shouldn't we involve Jirachi? No, Jirachi still hates you, and if he ever finds out, he'll try to stop you. I don't have to remind you what happened last time Jirachi got mad at you. Those parts of the world will never recover. Fine, we'll use the Sylveon, just her. That's a dude. Wait, really? He's kinda cute though. Well, if that one doesn't work, we could use the small one. Really? What? That's a little messed up, don't you think? Yeah, but from what I can see, the small one is also a good choice. Right, Clara? Yeah, those two are definitely the best choices. By the way, since you can see the future as well, you must know something about the humans. What is it? Humans are extremely unpredictable, so whatever you think is going to happen is more than likely not going to happen. Even I can barely keep up with all the possibilities. But I know enough to tell you that your plan will definitely work out in the end. If you don't get involved in two decisions, that is. You have to let them do whatever they want. Plus, it'll make their adventures way more entertaining. I definitely recommend you watch them. Um, what's up with that one? He's still learning how to fight. Oh, wow. Does he know how to use moves? Oh, he knows. Humans, or at least this one, are just more used to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Since he can't do that with his new body, he's using something that feels more natural to him, like claws and teeth. How do you know? Because, that's what he says in the future. Clara, you were right. This is really entertaining. What the? Hey! Hey, I want to see. Trust me, you don't. I'll be on my way, if you don't have any more questions. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Every time I look into the future, I see this and nothing else. Oh, I wouldn't worry that much. Why? Well, you see, if your plan doesn't work, which is highly unlikely, that would be the thing that kills you. What? How do you expect me not to worry after telling me that this thing has the capacity to kill me? Just don't. See y'all. No, wait! WAIT! On the bright side, she said it was highly unlikely. Three, two, one. Hey, you forgot something. Late again. No, I didn't. I left those for you. What? What am I supposed to do with these? They are flower seeds. What do you think you're supposed to do with them? Well, yeah, but what are they for? They are just a reminder, in case I forget. Forget about what? Don't worry about it. Just plant and water them for me, please. All right, see you later then. Later. Hey, how long have they been in the dungeon? About a few hours. Do you think they are okay? Don't worry, they're almost at the top. How do you know? All mythical and legendary Pokemon have a connection to their own dungeons. Because of that, I can tell where someone is inside it and... Oh, they just reached the top. Do you want to go and say hi? Sure. Yep. Here we go, remember to close your eyes. Congratulations, you guys made it to the... Oh my god, why is he covered in blood? Don't worry, he's fine. He just tired himself out. What about all the blood? It's not his. Well, most of it isn't. It was so cool how he took down everything that crossed his way. He pretty much cleared out all the first 57 floors on his own. We offered him some help, but he said he didn't want it, and that he was having way too much fun. Here you go. Thanks. Dude. Dude, you alright? John. If I die, make sure I come back as a villain. <laughs> yeah, he is fine. But seriously, I think I broke everything. Do you want me to take you to the Pokemon Center? No, I, I, I just need a little nap. I'm taking you to the Pokemon Center. Fine, but do that later. Right now, let's just get this over with. And find out where Arceus is. Alright.
That was amazing, but also gross. Don't open that eye ever again. So you guys want to exchange this for the location of Arceus, right? Yes. Yes, please. Alright, this is the part where I apologize. Huh? Arceus is on Mist Island. What? We've been there before. There's nothing there. That's because the tower where Arceus lives is completely invisible, and the only way to get inside is to have all the keys that belong to the legendary and mythical Pokémon. I assume it's not as easy as going and asking for a key, right? I'm afraid not. To get at least one key, you must defeat a legendary Pokémon in a battle, or go through a mythical Pokémon's dungeon. The keys themselves can be used to go to Arceus directly, but only mythicals and legendaries can do that. You have to collect them all. Doesn't that mean we can get the key from you? Um, that's another thing. Since my dungeon is the shortest of all the mythical dungeons, you have to battle me to get my key. But that doesn't matter because my key doesn't work anyway. Why? Arceus disabled it after I, well, uh, I tried to kill Arceus one time. What? It's a long story, but the point is it's basically impossible to reach Arceus without all the keys. But why so much work? Arceus is like me. Once you reach the top, Arceus will grant you a wish. But unlike mine, his wishes are more powerful and have no restrictions. That's why Arceus is more than capable to get you guys back to your world. So I guess that means we'll be staying here for a while. I'm truly sorry. It's my fault you guys are stuck in this world with no way out. Hey Barbara, do you two still want to meet Arceus? Yes, of course we do. Care to form a team with us? A team? Like an exploration team? Uh, sure. Yes! Alright, if he's in, I'm in too. I'm down. Yeah, me too. What about you, Jirachi? Me? Well, yeah, you got us in here. Might as well help us get out. Alright, I'll, I'll do it. I'll join the team. Alright, now that everything is settled, someone please get me some medical help. Oh yeah, sorry. Are you feeling alright? Everything looks red in my right eye, and I feel like I might pass out at any, any, any second. What do we name our team? How about Team Star? Ooh, I like that.